Okay, now we are moving to one of my very favorite topics, and those are going to be born globals. Globals. Before we proceed uh, to some theoretical background and some hairy terms and models, I would like to give you a little bit of intuition and uh, introduction to this topic. So, when you when you are talking about the firm uh, that is, let's say, oh, let's draw it. So we have got a firm right over here. This is your firm, and and you have set it up the company. Let's say it can be a cafeteria, and this is uh, your your country where you are operating in. And around you are some other countries, uh, let's say here, and there in, then there is some island next to the next to the coast, just over the sea. And now you want to become international, so I will write it with a uh, different color. So you would like to become international. International. So what will you do? After, let's say, uh, or Usually it is that after some maybe three or four years when uh, your firm is well established, then you seek for maybe some other city which is within your country. So you would move, you would move somewhere, let's say over here because the conditions uh, in that city are very similar to yours and you have some friends there so you know that your firm will be operating very well over there and then maybe after some another three years so let's say after seven years after seven years you decide okay now it is the right time that I will go abroad and now I will be the big player so you seek uh, in the surrounding countries which country is the one that is let's say very similar in the language. So this one has got language similarity and uh, so you decide okay I will go here. There are very favorable conditions so then you set up a third cafeteria right over here. Firm number three and then after some another three years, let's say the, the three years are the, the optimum time period uh, when you are able to repay your debts and your firm is well established after that period. So you decide, okay, now I will go to another country and, and set my new company there. So here is going to be firm number four. And then some after another three years, let's say you decide, okay, now I'm going over the sea and I will be an uh, intercontinental player. So you go and, and set up the company or the cafeteria number five. Number five. But what we are now going to talk about, imagine some of the some of the well-known brands which can be Ryanair. Ryanair or it can be Starbucks. Starbucks. What is so special about these companies or or in recent years we can all again see H&M. So H&M. What is so special about these companies? Well, some years ago, of course, if we move the time period a little bit back, there was no notion about them. They were not really existing or they were some very, very local. And now they are very global and everyone knows about them. So these firms, we are going to compare with uh, the born global or we are even going to call them that these firms were born to be global. And just just uh, for the imagination of what I'm going to talk about in the next video, the if, if the firm is born global, within these three years they would move much more in, in abroad and they wouldn't really consider that there are some maybe language barriers. So they would maybe immediately after four years they would move immediately here and at the same time they would move here and maybe after another year they would move here and set up uh, new companies right over here. So they are internationalizing really quickly and they are operating under very different conditions. So hopefully this gave you a little bit of introduction and in the next videos I will enlighten the theory behind this idea.